one that, so you that, that, meet this beautiful woman you have a gorgeous family tell us a little bit about your spiritual pilgrimage because you are an active part of Pastor Mac Richard's church in Lake Hills. Where's Pastor Mac? Mac, where are you, Pastor? Pastor, are you here? There's is a, his better half is over here. His better, oh yeah. She's my first cousin, Julie Stan. She is, is Let's hear it right yeah. there. Let's hear it. Julie, Julie. Julie Richard. Yeah. In the house. Yeah, in the house. I've always, you know, I've always knew and believed in God. I just didn't lead my life that way. Yes. Um, I've, I've never put a lot into being a celebrity. That. Mm -hmm. I, I, that just kind of flies right over my head, you know, because uh, that's just not really who I am, yes. you know. Um, but as you can imagine, you get exposed to a lot of different things, um, you know, because of what you do. And, you know, I, live, I lived a, a pretty excessive lifestyle. Um, so she says, would you please just, just go to, come to church with me one time? I'm like, babe, look. I'm gonna walk in there and the rafters are gonna start shaking. And, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I believe in God, I'm good. Just, I don't wanna, you know, it's not, it's not gonna work. But she, you know, she was very persistent and she, she wanted, you know, she wanted me to be the man that I could be. And, and that has nothing to do with being the undertaker. That's um, right. And so I went. And uh, I was, I was, it was just the perfect circumstance at the, at the perfect time. She, she pushed me and I went reluctantly, but once I got there and, you know, I, I grew up, I grew up Catholic mm -hmm. and, you know, so I'm thinking to myself, man, oh man, I don't want to kneel. I don't want to get down on the pew. I'm, I mean, after 17 surgeries, you could figure my body doesn't really feel good all the time. So I'm like, I'm like. So there were no pews, there were no, you know, I didn't know, there was no kneeling and everything. Uh -huh. And I was just, I just had this, once again, it was kind of like the Eggman deal. Like I was, I was getting myself worked up, right? Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, okay, all right, pastor's going to see me and he is just going to throw fire and brimstone right at me. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> sinner, sinner, <laughs> you know. And it, and, it, and it wasn't nothing like that. Mac and, and He's Julie awesome. and his family, they, they were really awesome. And it was, it was more... It was more of a, like of a conversation, you know? Mm -hmm. And I found myself from being, you know, kind of tense and pensive to kind of leaning in and like, wow, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. This is, yeah. Wow. And that started my, my journey. Yes. Back to leading my life the way I should. Yes. And, and, and Isn't that great? Man, thank you. <laughs> Michelle. And I, I, I can't wait for you to, to meet her one day. She is a very strong woman, and she had to be. Um, and she, I mean, she's the, put me in the right place for me to get back my life back on track again to what really matters. And I'm, you know, obviously I'm forever indebted just for that. And not even counting how, you know, she's an awesome mom. And, you know, she actually just did her mobile loaves and fish training. So she's just, she's awesome. She's, she brings the best, she brings the best out of me. And you, you were telling me too, when we've talked, it, it's so interesting and, and just, just to hear, hear what, what an amazing testimony of, of someone bringing you to church, of course, someone you love so much. And then you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I believe you were telling me like how you knew about God, but then that personal relationship, that was, the, that was that, 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 yeah. trigger yeah absolutely that was I, I wouldn't have been able to give you I, I wouldn't be able to recite any kind of scripture whatsoever that first day yes I knew there was I, you know like I said I was raised Catholic in a, yeah. in a, in a, in a God-fearing home but I just you know all my brothers all my brothers had to go to Catholic school and you yeah. know taught by the nuns and, mm -hmm. and their hands pop with the rulers <laughs> and all that I, st I still hear it when, when, when I go home all the time about how how rough they had it but um, it, it was yeah, it, it was the it was the it was the start of 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 me and my journey, yes. and, and realizing that there was a whole nother part to to life that I was missing out on, and um, I'm not perfect. Nor am I. I no, no one's perfect. No, no I, one I here that. is perfect. Mark. No, no, I, no, I, I get that. I mean, my, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still in my process. Yes, I'm, I'm getting there, but 
I spend, uh, you know, I spend a lot more time these days reading my Bible and, and, and uh, no. Excellent. 